Howdy Pro members, welcome to another edition of our SEO Moz Pro Tips. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use JavaScript and potentially things um, like hiding content or showing content, displaying content on a page in different ways, and how to do it safely so that the engines don't potentially penalize you or catch you in those algorithmic filters. Now what I'm talking about here is doing this for very, very white hat reasons. Certainly you could apply this to more black or gray hat stuff, but I don't even know why you'd want to. This, this is much more a tactic for those folks who uh, have done things you know, correctly and simply want to display more content on their page in, in a, in a uh, more accessible way. So let's take this example. Here I've got an SEO Moz page and I've got my headline and then I have some content down here that I have in tabs, right? I've got content A, B, C, and D. Maybe this is profile information about a company in our market price and here's their profile, here's photos, this one's details, and, and here's all the services they provide. Now, the problem is I don't really wanna have four pages all targeting this one thing. I really want all this content on one page, but it's not very user friendly to have it go on and on and on all the way down the page. I really would like to use this tabbed format. The problem is maybe the content inside here is, you know, I don't know, a small amount. You know, here's a little photo. There's, there's some good content in here, but then there's a bunch of content on those pages. And so when the engines look, they see, right, they see, okay, you know, lots, lots of content visible in the visible section and a lot of content that's not visible. Maybe it's in a, you know, hidden layer uh, or uh, display none, right? Something like this. And so the engines kind of go, ooh, that looks a little shady. This page has, you know, I don't know, 50 words in, in, that are displayed and 500 that are in hidden content. So there's a great way around this. What you can do is by default, when the page loads, show all of the content, right? Pour B so that B is down here, right? And C is down here and D is down here. And then use JavaScript, right? To close all these windows, right? So by default, they're open. And then when, when, the, when the browser is engaged you, and the page is loaded, you JavaScript close them all up behind the tabs or behind whatever sort of open and close system you've got so that then the engines by default see everything displayed. And it only goes into the hidden layer or the display none or whatever it is once the JavaScript is loaded. And this means that since engines don't generally execute JavaScript right on a page, they're not gonna have a problem with it. And really your users most likely, at least most of the times we've seen this used, are really going to enjoy this kind of format, right? If I want to see A, I'll see A. If I want to see B, I'll see B. If I want to see C, all those type of things. And if you're a company that relies on uh, CPM ad views and you say, well, we really do want these to be different pages for an ad view purpose, you can actually have these call the JavaScript that displays, you know, let's say you've got a banner ad over here. You can actually have these guys call this, this, this banner over here so that it redisplays as a new page view Right, and you get the, the impression count for that banner display. All right, this has been a uh, hopefully a very useful tip for some of you, and I'll uh, see you next time in the pro tips.